again. Yes, it's been a relatively short break between shows. I'm your host, Philip Aguana, welcoming you to episode four of BMW Club TV. And this month, it's indeed pretty much dominated by the BMW M Performance Parts Rate Series. After all, this is a big weekend for us, being the 10th time that the Kailami Grand Prix Circuit is hosting a championship round of the series. Initially, we planned to include a feature on this year's BMW Car Club Gauteng Skid Pan Challenge, but the school holidays and consecutive long weekends have seen the event move to the start of June. However, we didn't come here empty-handed. Usually, in race weekend previews, we feature the top five competitors per class, but as the South African series with the biggest grid, quite a few drivers rarely get airtime. Our race driver slash commentator Nicholas Herbst has also joined the BMW Club TV team recently, and apparently he brought his notebook along. Hi, I'm Nicholas, and I've got a problem. Throughout my racing career, I've been making all sorts of notes about racing. I thought I could control it, but at the end of last year, I started commentating on the BMW M Performance Parts Race Series. So today, let me share my notes with you. Right, uh, today we're going to be discussing uh, a couple weeks just before Kailami and uh, I've got some notes to share with you. So uh, most of the time we're looking at the championship contenders, we're talking about um, who's won the last race, um, who, who featured prominently. But we've got up to 60 cars on the grid um, and I'd really like to share with you today some of the really um, exciting newcomers and some of the new um, entrants uh, to our race series. So let's get started and uh, start talking about some of the new entrants. So on my list over here, um, I've got uh, at number one, I've got Eddie Rodriguez. Eddie uh, joins us in a series and uh, uh, having a chat with him at Squad Corps. Um, he's got a beautiful BMW E46 um, that has been uh, built uh, by Krobler Motorsport um, and fantastic, beautiful car. He had some trouble uh, at the last race, um, a, a few uh, mechanical issues here and there, I think a, a water pipe problem or something to, to that degree, uh, but nothing that the team could sort out. So great to see Eddie joining the series and uh, joining us in Class E with his beautiful BMW E46 race car. Number two on my list, I've got Ferdi van Staden. Ferdi joins in, a, um, in an awesome looking white BMW E36. Um, it appears to be a wide body race car. Um, he's currently in Class D, but showing great potential to move up. So great to see Ferdi join us there. Uh, next up, we've got a very interesting car. Uh, we've got a BMW E82 1 Series Coupe, um, and that's owned and driven by young Tian van Rooyen. So Tian van Rooyen is driving an E82 125i, so that's a, a two and a half liter displacement uh, race car. It's got a really great look to the car, really aggressive front end, um, and he was really uh, competitive in, uh, in race one. Um, it, a lot of overtaking maneuvers and having a lot of competition in Class E in his first race. So great to see Tian joining us and I'm sure he's going to be making his way through um, and possibly even joining us uh, in Class D with some uh, driver improvements and vehicle development. Uh, Stefano Cavalieri is next up. Uh, Stefano um, joins us in his E46 330Ci. Um, this car over there, again, another beautiful build uh, from the likes of Problem Motorsport. Uh, really lucky to, to see these incredibly exquisite and, and, and quality builds coming to our BMW race series. Uh, Stefano has been um, absolutely competitive in the last couple of uh, race heats. We've only had the two so far, uh, but he's really putting pressure on some of us old timers and uh, been in the race series for, for a little longer. So uh, Stefano putting pressure into the class, he's already uh, in class D um, and doing very nicely. 
Uh, we've got Yucky Storm Jr. Um, so Yucky Storm's son, uh, we, we refer to him as Yucky, and uh, Yucky's been making his way through. He's uh, running in uh, Yucky Storm Sr.'s old car, uh, the turbocharged E46, beautiful uh, uh, car that, and he's made his way through, and uh, in the last race, he actually broke out from Class D into Class C, so congratulations and uh, excellent uh, development happening there. Then we've got uh, Jacques Smith. Uh, Jacques Smith is no newcomer to racing, um, but he's in a new car. Uh, Jacques is uh, working on a new power plant, um, a new motor uh, for his BMW E36 race car. Uh, keep an eye on his YouTube channel for some very interesting builds. That's at uh, SSBB Builds, and uh, keep an eye on him as he uh, campaigns his new four-cylinder BMW E36 race car here at Kailan. Then we've got Leonard Archer. Leonard Archer, again, not a newcomer to, to our race series, but he's gonna be campaigning in his new car. So on the entry list, uh, Leonard has got there his new BMW E90 335i. So that's a turbocharged uh, E90. Um, it's most likely uh, using the, the very popular BMW N54 turbocharged three liter motor. Um, if any of the guys have seen some of the sneak peek images of that car, it looks incredible. So the ACD, um, uh, branding all over that car. It's got a bright blue and black and, and, and shape style to it. Really looks fantastic. So we're incredibly excited to see how Leonard does in his new race car at Kailami. Um, again, uh, not a newcomer to the race series, but we see the return of the uh, combined racing team in the form of uh, Paolo and, uh, uh, and Rick Loreiro, um, and they'll be racing the, their F30 race cars. Uh, it'll be great to see those uh, high performance Class A race cars um, return back to our series. Reynard Miller, uh, Reynard Miller would have uh, featured very uh, very prominently last year, uh, contending to win the championship, um, and it came down to the last uh, race meeting. Uh, Reynard has uh, broken out and has moved into the next class. He's now uh, moved out of Class D into Class C, and is now competing with his BMW E36 turbocharged race car. Uh, Reynard was competitive um, at the last race and, and making some moves in his new race car, and we're expecting some great uh, competition and uh, championship contention from him again. Uh, last little element, and to steal the microphone, um, I'll be uh, bringing a new sponsor and a new livery to my Class D uh, E90 BMW race car. Uh, previously, the Greenhouse Solar race car, and I'm lucky to, uh, to announce a new sponsor for this year in the form of CIM Lab Certified Lubricants. So keep an eye out for that uh, new liveried race car. It's gonna have some striking colors over there, and hoping to keep you guys entertained and uh, seeing some new, exciting information and exciting new builds, exciting new people to the BMW and Performance Parts Race Series. A big weekend lies ahead at South Africa's most iconic circuit. Let's look at the BMW and Performance Parts Race Series Championship going into Round 3. Defending champion Leon Loebscher holds an 11-point lead. Fabio Fidetto will look to close that gap. Bob Neal is finally set to return to the series after his horrific accident in last year's season finale. And as Nicholas mentioned, this weekend we'll see an influx of Class A competitors, which means results will count towards a full points payout. Andreas Meyer holds a Class B lead and the former double series champion will look to extend his 12 point lead over the defending class champion Nick McCreese. Superb round two performances by Renier Smith and Sav Gualtieri also see them in contention while Osbia Joni hangs on to fifth place. Last year, Gary Martins had a troublesome Kailami weekend following an equally troublesome debut at Swatkops Raceway. This year, he goes into the weekend heading up Class C. This is already shaping up to be a fierce contest with Hein van der Merwe only three points adrift and one clear of Benny Leite. 
Former class leader Rob Gearing will be back on the grid. With only three points behind late, he is still in contention to finish the weekend back on the top of the class. Race driver, commentator, note maker. Okay, let's put points leader also in front of his name now. Nicholas Herb's superb outing in round two sees him on top of class D, six points ahead of Quebus Boma. Former leader Ludovic Caron will miss this round, which could see reigning class E champion Ari van Heerden move into the top three after his breakout in round two. Claudio Jardim, who took one of the race wins in round two, will also look to gain a spot or two on the points table. Zahir Sidat remains on top of Class E and 14 points clear of Sean Dodd and Johan Miller. On the back of his fantastic debut, Eddie Rodriguez will also look to make some inroads, while Fahad Ibrahim will look to record another solid finish. Overall, it's Maya from Lobsha, Sidat, Herbst and Lepreece with only 12 points separating the top five. Apart from this weekend's third round of the BMW M Performance Parts Race Series at the Kailami Grand Prix Circuit, we also have our first lunch run of 2024, from ZF Aftermarket's premises to Industrial Coffee Works in Centurion. In May, it's a double dose of track action with round four of our BMW M Performance Parts Race Series at Red Star Raceway and our second Expel South Africa BMW Car Club Gauteng Track Day at Swatkops Raceway the weekend after. Scan this code to stay informed of the latest event calendar updates. We want to wish our BMW M Performance Parts Race Series competitors all the best at Kailami Grand Prix Circuit this weekend. From me, Philip Iguana, it's goodbye until next month.